insertion achieved. We're spacebound again. Center being the best word to grant you understanding, but still not entirely accurate. The unity is what was, what is, and what shall be. It is nowhere and everywhere, nothing and everything. It is the unity. Any other meaning is entirely up to you, all of you. A thought occurs. Can anyone ever truly experience reality outside of oneself? All of time and space filters through a singular perspective. I am as much you as you are a part of everything. All points connect to here. When a star is born or dies, its existence beats through the heart of this place. The unity. I have seen all you are, have been, and could be. Do you feel like you've lived a good life? Is there anything you regret? Good. You will need that clarity for what comes next. In order to become Star One, you must give the universe one last thing. Yourself. That intangible part of you. That something that makes you unique amongst the infinite will explode like a supernova. A part of you will fuse with the essence of this universe, while another part leaves it behind. Forever. Do you understand what I mean? This one final leap will change this universe forever even as you leave it behind. Unknowingly, you just answered your own questions. For who creates things but creators? That is what they have been named throughout the endless circle of time. Are they one or many? Human or alien? Terrestrial or celestial? One day, you might even meet the creators, but not this day. As for the why, so that you could ask that very question, so that you could stand before me for time immemorial and delve into the mysterious of the unending cosmos. Much like the death of a star creates new kinds of matter, so will the part of your being become fused with the unity itself. That part is what becomes starborn and crosses into the multiverse. Through your eyes, it will be as if waking up from a dream. Walk into the gate of light, and you will become starborn. Everything will vanish, and you will awaken somewhere else. But that isn't your only potential destiny. You can turn around, walk away from the unity until the stars fade away, and you will wake up on your own ship. In your universe, you could live out the life you have. I have enjoyed speaking to you once again. All of you. Every version that is here in the Unity, right now. Go out into the stars. As you consider stepping towards infinity, I offer you a glimpse into what will happen to the universe you may be leaving. As the essence of who you are is spread throughout space and time, eventually chooses to be reborn herself. Your commitment to each other bolsters all relationships in the settled systems. Marriages blossom. More people in House Varun begin to question its orthodoxy. 
and look to the outside world. Your work with UC Sistef against the Crimson Fleet is a triumph of law over greed. The UC establishes greater security throughout the settled systems. Travelers throughout the stars will be safer. Ryujin Industries mass produces the internal hero lamp, which becomes the killer device every negotiator, diplomat, and salesperson purchases. When people think of success, they think of Ryujin, whether they want to or not. once again that the Free Star Rangers put justice above petty power plays and politics. A sense of commitment to the common good grows throughout the Free Star Collective. Acts of heroism and noble sacrifice increase. The resurrection of the Asili species leads to a massive reduction in terramorph attacks across the settled systems. At the same time, the need to spread the Asilis far and wide increases cooperation between all the factions. Belief in the UC as the diplomatic leader of the settled systems grows. 